Go. Hello, uh, my name is David Convery. I'm a socialist and a historian of the Spanish Civil War, particularly the Irish involvement in the war. And David, could you tell me about the Irish Brigaders? Yes, there were about 270 Irish-born international brigaders uh, and about half of them were migrants from Ireland. Uh, so they, they lived in Ireland, but they'd moved around the world to various places, largely to Britain, uh, but some to the United States and about 45 to Canada. Several had lived in uh, quite a few countries. Some had been to Australia before. They were largely working class people who worked in a variety of trades, usually unskilled or low skilled uh, work. And they were politically, they were communists, they were Irish Republicans, but they all came from really a, a, a milieu of, of Irish socialist republicanism. They had fought against, a lot of them had fought against British imperialism as part of the IRA. And they were, they were very radical, very anti-imperialists uh, and uh, were committed to fighting against fascism. That, that's the Irish in, in, international brigades. There were a few who fought in the, the poem and the anarchists as well, uh, just a handful really, um, and not, not as much is known about them, but they had more radical political inclinations that they largely picked up through uh, movements in, in Britain. Um, there was one guy who fought alongside George Orwell who'd been part of the anti-parliamentary communist federation in Glasgow. His name was Charles Doran uh, and he, he associated with people like Guy Aldrich, but he was more of a, an anarchist really. But largely they were uh, socialist republicans and uh, communists. Um, what can you tell about their attitude towards the Catholic Church? Well they came from a Catholic country. Uh, they would have grown up with Catholicism and uh, most Irish families at the time that would have been a very strong cultural tradition and even if they were anti-clerical or they did not believe in, in the Catholic Church or even in God. They were very much influenced by that culture they grew up in and it was a very different sort of Catholicism than was in Spain at the time. It, it was a Catholicism that was... The Catholic Church in Ireland had been underground or oppressed for centuries under, under British rule and it was more of a, a religion for the mass of the people the time rather than uh, allied to the in Spain as it was to the state and military and large landowners so it was a it was kind of a grassroots religion for many um, and so the Irish in the international brigades when they they saw the levels of anti-clericalism and particularly the, the desecration of the, the churches they they felt a bit uneasy about it uh, even if they, they didn't believe themselves they still felt a bit torn by it. Uh, they they didn't like having uh, their lunch in the in the mess halls, which were in converted churches, for instance. Quite a few of them mentioned that. Some of them even mentioned the use of the name Jesus as a, as a thing that didn't sit quite right with them when they they met Spanish people. Uh, but the the when they encountered imagery uh, and icons that had bullet marks in them from the churches as well they, they felt a bit uneasy at this so this was something they they had to get used to really they tried to identify and when they when they wrote to their families at home they tried to convince them as well that it wasn't a war against catholicism as it was being portrayed that they were going out to fight against fascism and this was something they they tried to profess to their families that they some of them even wrote that they were Catholics and to have Mass said for them at home, uh, even if the church was against them, that they tried to make differentiate between the politics, really, uh, and the propaganda that was being portrayed to their families in Ireland. Um, and, and that's interesting, because that brings us on to the, the, the other side, the, the Irish who fought on Franco's side. Yes, so, again, in, in Ireland, the, the war in Spain was portrayed largely as a war of a, a communist uh, uprising against the church and Franco was seen as the saviour of the Catholic Church. He was seen as a Catholic crusade or a Christian crusade against atheistic communism or the Reds. And in pulpits throughout the country for several months from July, uh, or particularly until January, July 1936 to January 1937 and even a bit after that, Every week, at every Mass, um, the, the priests uh, gave um, pastoral, they read pastorals and they gave Mass in support of Spanish Catholics and, and Franco. 
uh, against the atheistic Reds. Um, there was church collections uh, for the, the crusade against communism in Spain, which raised £40,000, which was a lot of money at that time. There was an Irish organisation called the Irish Christian Front, which was a popular lay Catholic organisation, which, which very much had a political event at the same time. Uh, led by a, a very right-wing person called Patrick Belton, which organised mass rallies throughout the country, 40,000, 50,000 people on the streets in, in the major cities uh, in support of, of, of the crusade against communism. And Ono Duffy, who had led the Irish Blue Shirts, was a, which was a 40,000-strong paramilitary uh, fascistic organisation in Ireland in 1933-34, had tried to revive his, his flailing career in, in Ireland and tried to organise a brigade to fight alongside Franco against the, the Reds in Spain. And he claimed to have received 2,000 applicants to join him, 700 eventually did. Uh, and so 700 went to fight alongside O'Duffy in Spain. Now, O'Duffy was an outright fascist, and many of the people who led that, uh, that Irish brigade were fascists. But most of the people who were members of it were simply taken in by the propaganda that it was a war to, to save Catholicism. Um, it was in every local paper, it was on newsreels, it was everywhere they could see it was being portrayed as such um, back in Ireland. When they got to Spain, the reality was quite different and there was a lot of disillusionment amongst those people and they only engaged in about three actions and they came home um, largely in June 1937. And so they didn't last very long, um, only a few of them died in combat. A few of them, about a handful really stayed on uh, because they were really committed to Franco's crusade and so they stayed on, but and most of them went home. Whereas the Irish who came to fight against fascism, they stayed the course really. Um, many of them died, many of them wounded. One ended up in a concentration camp in France. Many ended up in, in Franco's concentration camp, San Pedro de Cardenas. Um, which was uh, had most of them, including Bob Doyle from from Dublin. Um, but that's the that's the nub of it, really. That's that's who the Irish were fought on both sides of the Spanish Civil War. That's absolutely brilliant, David. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Thank you.